Hi, this is Nellie Deutsch, and I'm on a website, a Moodle website, for free online learning called OnlineCoursesForFree.com. And I'm going to show you how I add a new theme. A new theme just came out for 3.9. It's called Rebel by the same guy, Chris, who also created Fortson a couple of years ago. So I'm going to go into the admin so I can go into the plugins and get this plugin. So let's go into the plugins over here, click on it, and when I click on it, it should take me to the install plugins. Let me show you that over here. I can also get the overview, but I'm interested in the install. Click on the install over here. I can also download the install and then upload it, but I'm going to go to Moodle.org, my favorite place for the plugins. So this is the page for the plugins. I'm going to go into plugin type over here. Okay, so we're going to choose theme. It goes by alphabetical order, so there's the theme. And then I'm going to add the version. The version is 3.9. And here it is, Rebel. All right, so let me try that. Click on it. Install. I can also, as I said, download and then upload, but I'm just going to go through this. Install. Go to my site, which is um, this one over here. Online courses for free. That's the name of the domain. Then I'm going to click on continue under confirm. And then continue over here. And then go down to the bottom, click on continue again. There are a few steps here. And then another called upgrade Moodle database now for the rebel. And here we go. Now it's not going to appear. There another step continue until I select this theme. So let me just uh, scroll down here and notice the uh, background. I can change the image. All these features available, but I'm just going to go straight down to Save Changes, and then I'll just select this so I can play around with it. So I'll go into Site Administration over here, click on it, Go into Appearance, in case you missed that. There's Appearance. Click on it. Go down to Themes, and then Theme Selector over here. Click on it. And then notice I have Fortson right now. I'm going to go into Change Theme over here and change to Rebel. There we go. And uh, Rebel is probably at the end because it's with an R. Okay, so here we are. There's the Rebel. Rebel. Click on it. And here we are. That's interesting. Okay, so we get a sample, a little bit of what it looks like new theme saved so let's click on continue and then we can do it for the rest of these but i usually wait around before i do that because i might not like it so let's go back here to appearance because we're gonna make some changes here not sure i like the way it looks right now with the black all around okay so let's see what we've got here under appearance for the rebel so in order to get the rebel let's go back into site administration not the theme and then um, we're going to go into appearance and straight down to rebel there it is rebel at the bottom okay and i notice there are a few theme preset there's shuffled papers e earn grudge and university now let's take a look at each of these and see what they look like. Just to brand color, well, let's stay with the default. 
So we're going to try each one of these to get a feel for it. You really have to learn each theme. It takes time, and you might not have that time, but... Ooh, I don't like that. That reminds me of Padlet Wall. Interesting. I like these, the color of these, I think. Not sure about um, this strange color there. All right, so that's shuffled papers. E earn, let's see. Learn, sorry. Let's see what that looks like. Remember, we can change the default color. I think I like what I had before for Fordson, so I'm just see. Okay, so here we get a colors. This kind of reminds me of um, Fordson, one of the presets. Not bad. Kind of interesting, actually. Okay, so that's e earn. I have to remember that. And then there's grunge. Well, that's quite something. I like that. e learn. Not bad. Very cool. Nice. Okay, so now we're getting some nice things. Oh, no. I don't like the background of that. But that's interesting, though, if you can get a background there. It does remind me of Padlet. And these have different colors. Interesting. All right, that's grunge. And university. Let's see what university looks like before we add anything. I definitely want to change the color of the footer. Don't like that black. Oh, same background. Oh, no, it's changed. Okay, that's also pretty, quite nice. Looks like very... Oh, this one changed the color. Okay, still don't like the black around. But it's not bad. They're all quite nice. Okay, brand color, that's interesting. University. So we've got everything here. Additional theme preset that we can get. Brand color, default page background image. Hmm. And login page background. All right. So what I'm going to do is, um, yeah, that's not bad because I like the fact that it has white. I always like the white. Don't like the black font. I wonder if, let's see what advanced if I have, oh look at this. So here you can get the colors that you want, the top Nava colors. So this is great. Top header area. You get all these colors. Breadcrumbs. So you've got all these colors that you can change. This is absolutely amazing. So it's a lot easier. And the tabs so you can actually define so this is a layout actually you know what they they really resemble each other okay so that's advanced so let me go back login okay login's not a problem let me um change this i liked e e-learn right that was the one that i thought was nice Except for the footer, if I remember right, it was black. Or was it? Oh, it's not black. That's lovely, actually. Wow, that's nice. Okay, and it's white the way I like it. Not bad at all. Okay, so let's see. We don't have any sliders for the front page, which is interesting. There's only login. Additional three. So there are no slides, which is not a bad thing, since they can slow down the site. So, uh, and I wonder, there's also, hmm, okay, so let's see what else is here. Yeah, it does have less. That's interesting. So let's see, additional theme presets, brand color, default page background image, login page. Okay, that's for the login. Okay, so there's really nothing here unless we go to advanced. Let's see what's in. Oh, that's uh, where we can add these various colors. That's not bad at all. And change the colors. I don't know if I like the red, but it's a good contrast, though. And that's my courses, site administration, log out is here. Okay, so let's log out and see what that looks like. 
Oh, we got to get rid of that Moodle. Okay, so it looks like this. That's the friend page. Hmm. So I guess uh, I have to develop the friend page because... And the login is going to be a regular login because I haven't added any background. So let's go back in. Well, not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, let's go back to um, find more courses. I wonder what that looks like. Okay, I see what's happening here. There aren't any courses here. So let's go back to appearance. I'm going to go back to Fortson. Oh, sorry. We have to, uh, first of all, go back to site administration. This is really nice. It grows on you, I guess. Okay, we're going to go into Theme Selector and go back to Fordson. So you can see the difference. Let's go back. Here we go. Use this one. Wait a few seconds. Okay, and here it is. Continue. I'll log out and you'll see it. Actually, Fordson is quite nice. And so let's log out. So there it is. That's the Fordson. And you can add your courses down here. Fordson's quite nice. Here's another. Let's see if we can extend this so I can show you what this one looks like. Uh, let me log out. This is also Fordson. Okay, I don't, there you can have the courses down here. Okay, but uh, notice um, it's taking time because the images take time. So it's not always a good thing. And if you look at another site, this is um, Edweiser, or MUI. Quite nice. I like it. And support is absolutely amazing. So highly encourage you to try Edweiser. It does cost a bit, but it's not that expensive. There's an annual fee. That's it. Hope this has been of help. And um, you add questions and comments to the comment box. And I'll share the links of all these Moodle sites with you. Have a great day. And remember to subscribe and hit that notification button so that you are alerted of the latest videos. And they come on a daily basis. Bye for now.